Once I got my solar panel mounted up onto the roof rack, I, it soon became obvious I wanted to be able to have it deploy at a 45 degree angle after we got to camp. I searched and scoured the internet and everyone that had anything close to it, it was either really heavy, not self-deployable, and very, very expensive. So I put this together for Jiminy Christmas, way less than $50. I started out going down to the big box and getting two and a quarter by inch and a half angle with all these neat little holes pre-drilled in it so we could adjust as necessary. I cut that 48 inch piece down into a couple of 9 inch pieces to mount on the solar panel and I had these stainless steel strap iron laying around. I drilled a couple of holes in that and that is how the rear is fastened to the roof rack. I believe these are called 16 inch gas struts AutoZone 32016. I don't know the brand. I don't pay too much attention to that sort of thing. I do know that I had to go buy two sets because the first set was simply too short. Uh, I think I got 6 inch or 8 inch. They just were too short to garner the leverage to lift this thing up. All the hardware is stainless steel. 5 sixteenths inch with half inch heads which is a perfect match for our roof rack. The next part's the fun part, getting it up on top of that roof rack without breaking it. Uh, I bungee corded the uh, struts together across the top so they don't get tangled up in anything and thankfully man invented platform ladders. I can't stress how important it is for everything to be square and centered, perfectly square, perfectly centered, because there just isn't enough room on the sides to get a wrench in a lot of these places unless it is. I find it easier to locate these studs on the back first, and then the hinges will fall right into place where they need to be, as long as these studs in the rear, one on the other side, the measurements are perfect on the panel and on the rack and I, I just I can't stress that enough if that measurements perfect on either side everything will fall into place okay the front hinges have been bolted down and the next step after that's very important you have to get a stick of the proper size to hold the solar panel up at the angle that you want it to be at when the struts are fully extended and will hold it there. Next, Sometimes these little buggers can be a real pain in the butt. Just getting in here to open them up. But once you get them opened up, you should pop right on there. Good. Fastened. Once again, you can use that stick to adjust the height so they pop right on. Once both struts are fastened, let it down gently. Apply the wing nuts. Okay, here's the beauty in this system. When you get to camp, all you have to do release a wing nut and there's usually two of us at camp so it, you have one on each side. I'm alone today. Release the other wing nut and deploy. Thanks for watching.